Hi, Gemini. I hope that you can hear me on this recording. I know the other recording, I have the meditation music up pretty loud. And I thank you guys for so kindly telling me that the music was up loud. Yeah, that's that's sarcasm, but it's cool. Um, thank you anyway. All right, so let's get into this, Gemini. Let's see what's going on in your love sector. All right, let's see what's going on for Gemini in their love sector. All right, so we get the four of disc. So this card specifically talks about feeling like maybe, um, I don't know if it's you or someone else being clingy, um, feeling suffocated in a relationship, maybe even feeling like you're stuck in a toxic situation. Like um, maybe feeling like somebody's trying to you know, put their will on you or, or I want you to do this and whatever they, their will is for their life or for, for how they want the relationship to go. They're trying to exert it on you. They're trying to overpower you, trying to dominate you almost, um, keep you confined or stuck or contained. Um, a lot of times you see that card when someone wants to keep a relationship right where it is, wherever it is, they want to keep it there. Okay, so that's what's going on in the relationship. Let's see how you feel. How does Gemini feel about the about the relationship? How does Gemini feel about the relationship? Um, the high priestess. It's like you already know. Um, you have an inner knowing that maybe um, this relationship isn't going to transpire past whatever it is. You may know that there's another woman or or you may be the other woman. Maybe you know that this person has no plan of, um, maybe you've been getting, your intuition has been talking to you about what this person wants from you. Um, how you feel is strong, strong in your will, strong in your willpower, strong in who you are. Um, you know that this person is desiring you. Um, I don't know if you're uh, allowing them to have you, if you will. Um, but they're, they're looking at you very desirable and they're almost looking at you as unattainable. Like they, they just can't get you. Um, or they can't have you. Let's see. How does this other person feel about you? How does this other person feel about you? You, you know something too. You know something about the connection. I don't know if you've let on to the other person that you know. How does the other person feel? How does the other person feel? Ace of Swords. So they feel like they need clarity. They feel like they... So this person, um, they're seeing something clear now. They're seeing the truth of the matter. Uh, their mental capacity is so sharp right now that they could even be... You know, engaging in conflicts. If this person is already coupled, then there could be conflict in their relationship. They know that they need to make some far-reaching changes, decisions in their life. They know that they're going to have to make some irrevocable decision here um, to either cut something out, cut it off, turn it on, turn it off. Something of that matter uh, with the Ace of Swords here. It's like your person sees the truth. Um, you could be the truth or something surrounding you and what you mean to them or how much they want you or desire you. Um, <clears throat> let's see what the outcome here is. The justice card. Maybe someone's going to choose to do the right thing. Maybe someone could even choose to divorce. Someone's going to choose to do the right thing, divorce, apologize, come to you, um, trying to make something right, trying to make something fair and balanced, uh, feeling like there needs to be repayment, repayment of maybe even money or just repayment of the debt that they have amassed with you. You know, maybe this person you do favor or you allow or you're passive. Yeah, you've been passive in this connection here. To where this person feels like, you know, may, now they owe you. Let's see what the advice is for Gemini. What is the advice for Gemini here? Could be dealing with the Libra. 
Aquarius, Cancer, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Uh, what's the advice? Uh, reliability, the Knight of Pentacles. Um, do nothing. Be be dogmatic. Be pragmatic. Be not moving um, right now. Um, rely on yourself. Rely on what you know to be true, what you've seen, what you've experienced. Because uh, I don't know, this person seems as if they're going through their own personal journey here. Um, put that hard work effort into yourself. Uh, be efficient. This could be in career. I know this is a love reading, but something about not moving. You got two not moving cards because the high priestess is, she doesn't move. And then the knight of pentacles, he's not moving either. So you got two cards of no movement. You have the queen of wands. Let this vibrate to you. Let it come to you. Let it, let your vibration speak for itself. Vibrate higher than this. Um, don't chase. Uh, I, I don't think that you would, but don't chase, uh, don't argue, don't engage, disengage right now because this person doesn't have much to offer you. Um, and her exit strategy, some of you need to be planning it or you will be planning the exit, exit strategy. Um, some of you feel like you, you too long into this passive relationship. Some of you are working on an exit strategy. Maybe even a divorce. You might even start a new business or just something that you're going to do for you. You're going to start something for you. Do something for you. Put all that energy into you. Uh, Gemini, if you feel like this reading resonated with you, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Gemini. Take care. Many blessings to you.